So you want to try Steam VR games, but you don't want to shell out $800 for an HTC Vive. This new and improved guide will help you play VR games on your iPhone for a much lower cost, and it's now even easier. Welcome to TechRunner, your source for tech reviews and VR content. So in my first video for this channel, I talked about how you can use the iOS app Trinus VR to stream VR games to your iPhone. I was recently contacted by the developer of a new app called Ivory. Full disclosure, the developer sent me a promo code for the premium version. However, this was done without any expectation, and the following is my honest opinion. So you will need a few things to get up and running. First is a VR-capable gaming PC. I've linked the Steam VR performance test in the description below. Run it, it will let you know if your PC is up to spec. You will also need an iPhone. Anything from the iPhone 6 onwards will work fine. Next is a Google Cardboard compatible headset to put your iPhone into. I'm using the Fit VR 2N. It's comfortable, has good lenses, and a decent field of view. I've reviewed this headset in a previous video, and I've also put the Amazon link for it in the description below. The iPhone connects to the PC via either Wi-Fi or USB, so you'll need a Wi-Fi router or a lightning cable. On the software side of things, you'll need to install Steam and then Steam VR, which you'll find under the tools in your Steam library. Next, download and install the Ivory Steam VR driver. The link is in the description below and download the Ivory iOS app from the App Store. The light version is free to demo for up to 5 minutes at a time, after which the colors desaturate. You can unlock the premium version with an in-app purchase of $7 to remove this restriction. So all the settings for Ivory are adjusted in the iPhone app. You can change the settings for Wi-Fi or USB independently. Connecting via USB is definitely preferred and I would set all the performance sliders to maximum, including setting frame rate to 90Hz and tracking rate to 100Hz. You can then enable lens distortion and scan the Google Cardboard QR code for your headset. This is a great option and will really help with immersion. The last few settings I would leave turned off. Tap done and you are ready to connect to Steam VR. Launch Steam VR and the Ivory app should automatically connect. All things being well, you should see the Steam VR dashboard on your iPhone. Next step is to complete the room setup. You'll want to select standing only. From there, just hit next, calibrate center, and next again. In the next step, you'll want to set the height to your eye level. This is because the headset doesn't have any external sensors. This will ensure you are at the correct height in games. Click next, and you are done with room setup. To launch a game through the Steam VR interface, press the Steam or Guide button on your controller. Then select Steam and browse your library. Alternatively, you can launch a game from your PC before putting on your headset. So what are the differences between Trinus VR and Ivory? Well, Ivory has a free 5-minute demo then desaturates the image. Trinus has a free 10-minute demo but disconnects you. Ivory can be unlocked with a $7 in-app purchase. Trinus is a $9.99 in-app purchase. Ivory requires installing a Steam VR driver but no other PC app. Trinus has you install a PC server app which you need to connect to. Ivory connects via Wi-Fi or USB. Trinus connects only via Wi-Fi. The Ivory VR app was released in March 2017 and has already been updated several times. The Trinus VR iOS app has not been updated since August of 2016. Ivory uses Google Cardboard QR codes for image distortion. Trinus VR does not offer image distortion. Ivory cannot stream non-Steam VR games. Trinus VR can stream non-Steam VR games. So I'm actually really impressed with Ivory. A lot of these VR streaming apps are fairly basic and a pain to set up. This is much simpler and works a lot better. The light version will pretty much allow you to play for as long as you want, provided you don't mind the desaturation. The premium version is also priced the lowest of the different apps that I've seen, which is a smart move by the developer to encourage people to get this app. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this new guide helpful. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. If you would like to see more VR content and tech reviews, please subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter at TechRunnerVids.